Well, what is happening, my helium friends? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let a couple people show up. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and flip my camera back and forth because when I talked in the live the other day uh, and I was trying to read stuff, my voice got all muffled. So it sounded better when I would talk to the camera this way. So I'm gonna do that, and then if I flip it around. Uh, or no, it was the opposite way. So you guys can barely hear me now, but as soon as I flip it, boy, you can probably really hear me. So uh, I've got a POE setup that I'm putting up on my house. Uh, this is something I've been kind of piecing together. Um, I did offer to trade this up um, for some other stuff. Uh, and I thought I had a guy that wanted it but anyways here's the inside setup just got the uh, gold hotspot uh, poe this is the four amp poe um, which they recommend three for this i doubt it ever pulls three um, but just to give you kind of like a uh, i'll actually show you here in a minute stand back but i am running the H antenna. No, I don't have a lightning arrestor on there right now, but I do have space. I'm just waiting on it because they're hard to come by. Um, so yeah, I have um, I've run my cable up, uh, whoa, but I have to splice in the um, yeah. So I have to splice in. Hopefully this works. So I have to splice this in on the other end, and uh, I'm gonna put this up on the pole that has been on my house. Um, but I'm just gonna simulate it because I wanted to get this in. As you can see, sun's going down over there. Um, and I would love to get on that tower. That hex is open, but uh, <laughs> it costs money to get up on those towers. So, um, yeah, I'm going to throw this thing up here and kind of show you what it looks like mounted because it's probably easier to get back and talk about it. So let me just close the box so I don't have a floppy box and flip this camera back around. All right. So this is a waterproof. I, I think it's IP67 rating, which should be good. Um, so this is just simple stuff that I bought. Um, you can get these posts, uh, this pole here at um, Lowe's. That's what the whole setup looks like um, once it's mounted onto the pole. And then obviously you have your um, just ethernet that comes up, plugs into there and uh, gives me my, ooh, I might have to, change that head out of there because that might not fit through that hole we'll see so anyways uh that's what the setup looks like from that angle again you can just pop it open uh, miner and stuff is in there and then on the other end there's a an injector this is a splitter um, but i have an injector down there um, i'm not too worried about weather up here it does get cold um, but we'll see this will be a great test uh, it's got a seal on the inside and then a, a lip uh, so it doesn't get wet all up in there and then let's talk about this um, so this is a h antenna it is a mp i think it says on the top of there uh, these are supposed to be really good um, those are 150 bucks i went ahead and snagged one they're actually local here um, in ohio which i thought was really awesome how cold does it get outside during winter um it drops into the single digits occasionally but um and that's fahrenheit um so probably you know to the 20s celsius or something like is that or the negative would that be negative oh hell i don't know celsius i don't know shit about that uh fahrenheit uh around 10 degrees probably is the coldest it'll get uh it looks like it's moving around quite a bit already um, just kind of standing here looking at it uh, but I'm gonna have two more extensions on there so it'll be another what uh, nine feet up uh, so for everybody just watching or just tuning in I'll go ahead and open her back up so you guys can see uh, we are going into winter by the way so we'll see how that does uh, just got the sorry I've been down here again my neighbors probably think I'm crazy um, so again, we'll have um, POE come in, hit that, 
Uh, this is the Ethernet cable that gives this its data. And then I've got an adapter here. Uh, this is a sex change. The only reason that uh, I used this elbow was because it's a sex change. I had this cable and then this uh, down in there is the LMR uh, connector for uh, the RPSMA. So LMR 400, three feet, um, and then into here. So I got, just to give you an idea, Samuel, um, I got this on Amazon. Uh, I made these cables myself. You can get the tool at Lowe's. Um, this I got on Amazon. I've had all of these again. Um, so I, I can definitely throw a, a thing, comment or whatever uh, with links to everything. Uh, this is just RCA um, antenna mast. You can buy it at Lowe's. It's like $8 a section. Sometimes they're out. There's just a little PVC thing that holds like five of them. So if they're out, look up on the shelf. There's a number. Um, and, and if you look at uh, up on the shelf, there's probably more. But this thing wobbles quite a bit. I think I'm just going to have to like kind of push these down um, to get them a little tighter. And then I was thinking about getting um, just some kind of like support that would run from there down to this. Yes, I am grounding this. Um, I'm just going to put a ground here uh, and then it'll run just down the pole um, down here along this and down or... Uh, something like that. I had plans to do the last one, but I did I have had this out here um, Now for right around oh, I'm gonna say six months uh, Five of it has been up on here with a big uh, 5.8 DBI and um, nothing so Again, just wanted to show you guys uh, real quick what I've got going on. Let me climb down here and I'll show you how I will show you how I attach it. I gotta put my phone down though I can actually use the antenna. All right, so the easiest part at the top is this. Um, that's just a one inch clamp. I'm gonna climb down the ladder here. That way you guys can see. Uh, this is just like the setup that I did the other day, but I used uh, better steel. Um, and I also went ahead and uh, I want it's being my phone's being stupid. I want to. All right, anyways, um, this is a six foot piece of one and a half inch angle steel. So it's 90 degrees. Um, and then it has a clamp that came off of some things that I got from, um, yeah, some things that I got from Lowe's. Uh, these things right here, I got these from Lowe's. You can use these if you want to, but uh, they definitely aren't strong enough to hold a big mast. Um, so I just put them in my vise. I just put one of them in my vise and squeeze it together. Uh, and it's actually the perfect diameter for uh, the inside of that pole. So it kind of just pinches everything um, into, as you can see, it It actually looks like a pretty good setup up there, you know, once it's all um, said and done. And again, it'll be another, oh, probably nine feet higher. So we'll see how the wobble does. I know the last one that I had uh, was actually this stuff. Don't use that. Um, Cause as you can see, it got a little windy and bent it some. So and you can see the bend in it. It's pretty, pretty bent. So definitely recommend using hard steel. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's all, as you can imagine, the wire runs into that little gray thing up there into my garage. And then I have a router like right there somewhere. Um, so yeah, um, I will keep you guys posted on how this thing changes, whether it changes or rewards. This is the uh, Sneaky Chartreuse Frog. Um, that's the name of that miner. So if you wanna keep an eye on it um, to see how this setup does, you're welcome to do so. Um, that cord, the cable, the 400 LMR, that's a three foot LMR 400. So for reference, it's a 0.2 or less DBI loss. Um, so I will probably go ahead and list that as three DBI. I do have another setup though that um, it has a 0.8 DBI loss and I wound up, um, I wound up uh, adding it as an eight 
uh, I'm sorry, as a 5 dBi antenna, and uh, it seems to be doing better that way. So, uh, once again, just wanted to hop on the, whoa, the live uh, deal here on Helium and show you guys um, just what my PoE setup looks like. It, it, everything's for sale, so um, I don't chat about anything that is for sale in the chats. Just hit me up in direct messages if this is a setup that you'd be interested um, in or you know you already have a gold miner um, just give me a shout in my direct messages and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this whole thing I'm pretty stoked uh, sneaky chartreuse frog uh, checking out for now see you guys later until next time